da 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 but it's the same animal. But it's a crusted and a gargoyle. They're different. But it's the same animal. A gargoyle, a crusted gecko, the same thing. No, they're different. And I'm gonna show you in this video how these animals are very, very different. A lot of people are going to tell you that gargoyle geckos and crusted geckos are exactly the same animal. They come from the same place. They eat the same food, they breathe the same way, it's the same animal. But we're gonna talk about the differences, the four differences, maybe more, in this video, and I'm gonna show you how they are so different. And by matching their care requirements separately, you're going to be more successful with gargoyle geckos. Now, I mentioned that they come from the same place, New Caledonia, but they come from different areas on the island. As far as names go, gargoyle geckos are called Rachidaculus auriculatus. Crested geckos are Corolophus ciliatus. Who remembers the old name, Rachidactylus? Now, on general care, you will find that gargoyle geckos and crested geckos are very, very similar. They eat the crested gecko diet. They like arboreal setups. They like lots and lots of foliage in their enclosures. You don't need special lighting, although they can benefit from UVB bulbs. And of course, no special heating for these animals is required. So tell me, can you think of four differences between gargoyle geckos and crested geckos? Leave a comment down below and let me know. So let's talk about these differences between gargoyle geckos and crested geckos. Number one, gargoyle geckos get bigger. They're a different body type. They're huskier. Crested geckos are leaner. The biggest crested gecko that I've ever seen was about 70 to 80 grams. The biggest gargoyle I've ever seen is over 100, was over 110 grams. That's a huge, huge difference. The second way that these two geckos are different is that gargoyle geckos don't really have a lot of different traits. They certainly don't have any specific morphs that we know of right now. Crested geckos, on the other hand, are filled with traits, hundreds of traits, hundreds of combinations. And now in the last 10 years or so, we have three or four different morphs going in the hobby, which is very, very exciting. I bet you knew this next fact. Gargoyle geckos regrow their tails. Did you know that? Crested geckos, once they lose their tails, it's a done deal. Those frog butt crested geckos never regrow their tails. Gargoyles will regrow their tails and the tails will look almost exactly the same as their old tails. Here's number four. Gargoyle geckos are sedentary. They like to go into a certain spot in their enclosure and they'll sit there and sit there and sit there. Now, crested geckos will do the same, but at night, crested geckos will roam all through their enclosure. They'll go up, they'll go down. Gargoyle geckos love to find a piece of cork bark, a log, something. They'll sit sedentary like this, waiting for prey to go right underneath them. I better not do that too often or else I'm gonna get bit. Difference number five. Wait, did I say four? Okay, I came up with this one. Difference number five, these animals, gargoyle geckos, need more protein in their diet than crusted geckos do. Feed them lots of crickets. So for our feedings, we'll give crickets to crusted geckos about once a week, once every week and a half. Gargoyle geckos will absolutely get crickets or some other feeder insect once a week, if not twice a week. The bigger prey insect that you can give gargoyle geckos, the better. They love a big adult cricket or a big half-sized dubia. If you like all these tips that we're providing in these videos, make sure that you go down below. Hit that like button right now. I would greatly appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button as well. Point number six. Yes, I have six instead of four. So it's a known fact in the hobby that crested geckos and gargoyle geckos shouldn't get above 80 degrees in temperature or else they'll start suffering. Well, that's debatable now. And that's because New Caledonia will see temperatures that reach 80, 82 degrees. Now don't keep them at 80, 82 degrees, but it's not terrible if they reach up to those temperatures. But here's a fact for you. Gargoyle geckos like to be a little bit warmer than crested geckos. Very, very important, especially for breeding seasons. Did you know all six? Leave a comment down below. Take a look at this animal. This 
is not a crusted gecko. What is it? Watch this video right here and you'll find out what it is. Fellow keepers, it's really important that you know the difference between crusted geckos and gargoyle geckos. It's important for their husbandry, their care, and especially for breeding purposes. We really wanna do more than just maintain these animals. We wanna keep them, we wanna see them thrive. Thank you everyone for watching this. We'll see you next video.